Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rhea and I make motherhood and lifestyle videos. If you're new here, welcome, hi, hello. I'm so glad that you clicked on this video and I hope that you subscribe before you go. I'd love to have you join me as a part of my family here on YouTube. And if you have been here and clicked on this video, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I actually would like to say hi, hello, and welcome to all of my new subscribers. I hope you enjoy being a part of this little family here on YouTube. I really enjoy this community and I'm so happy to have you here. So thank you again for subscribing and I hope you enjoyed today's video. In today's video I will be showing you guys how I made my very own coffee mug holder. This is a DIY do-it-yourself project. I really enjoy doing these things but disclaimer this one was my hardest project ever like Oh my gosh, I can't even begin to tell you how frustrating it was to get this thing done. And I'm so happy that it's over. I'm really happy with the final result. Um, but I gotta say, like, ugh, it tested my patience for sure. And I'm not gonna lie, I did drop quite a few F-bombs throughout the making of this video. But don't worry, you guys won't have to hear all of that business. <laughs> I have had this project in mind for a really long time and I finally had a chance to gather all the materials that I needed and I set time aside and I finally sat down and did it. And I would like to also start off by thanking BJ, my boyfriend, for his help in this project. He helped me with mounting the actual um, holder itself because I am terrible at it. Um, I cannot put those little anchors in. Um, and so I'm really, I really appreciate you doing that for me, babe, because I could not do it. There probably would not be a wall there if I would have attempted to do it. So thank you so much for doing that for me. And also, thank you for being patient with me and teaching me how to use a drill. Because I really thought that I knew how to use a prow drill. And then I found out that I don't. This project was super hard, I'm not gonna lie. It was not an easy like, yay, I'm gonna get this done kind of project. It was more like a, oh my God, when is this gonna be over? Kind of thing. <laughs> I couldn't handle it but I finally got it done and so now I want to talk you guys through it so the first things you're going to need for this is a huge wood pallet um, I found this one here at Hobby Lobby it was originally $24.99 but I do believe that it was 40% off so I think I paid like $17 for it total you're also going to need a wood stain I went ahead and used provincial this is the same wood stain that I used for my Scrabble letter wall and if you would like I will have that video linked below and I will also put it in the cards here um, I did use this same wood finish and I really love it it's a beautiful color it's just the perfect color that just ties in really well with my kitchen and so I went ahead and just stuck with it. Um, I also like that same wood color is throughout my house and so um, that's why I went ahead and stuck with the same color. You're also going to need a pair of gloves and a paintbrush and you're also going to need an old rag. Now these rags came in a pack of five I think from Family Dollar for like three bucks. Um, super cheap. If you have like wash rags, old wash rags, you can always use those too. Just use something that you're not going to mind getting dirty and throwing away afterwards. Um, you can also use old t-shirts. I've done that before too. And then I also bought these hooks. Now these hooks you can find I'm sure at Home Depot, even Walmart. I ordered mine off of Amazon and I will have those linked below. They came in a pack of 36. I really, really liked these. They were just really nice looking. I got them in the color black. Uh, because it, like I said, you'll see it ties in really well with my coffee bar that I've got going on and so I stuck with the color black but I think they come in like a bronze color as well. Um, but again, I'll have those linked in the bottom below. Like I said, I had BJ mount it for me and he did that first so that I could figure out exactly where I wanted it on my wall and how I was going to hang this on my wall. I wasn't sure when I first started on how I was going to hang this. Um, I think I originally was going to try and do a wire hanger and then um, BJ kind of talked me out of it and said that that probably wasn't going to work and so um, we went ahead and just screwed it right into the wall and so that is why I needed his help because he needed to do the anchors for me. So he did that. The first thing I did was I went ahead and used that provincial stain and I stained the entire wood palette. 
The staining process took me about 30 minutes. Um, I did go ahead and stain that whole thing and then I let it dry for about an hour. I wanna make sure that this dries so that that stain doesn't get all over your hands. I did not use a sealant on this. Um, I never do. I'm not sure if you're supposed to, but I don't, I never have. And I'm not sure if that's gonna like make a difference in the long run, but um, I've not had any problems with anything that I've stained before, so. Um, I did not use a sealant, but you could, and I'm sure you could find this at your local hardware store. After I stained it, I took a ruler and I marked out where I wanted to place my hooks. I measured these hooks about six inches apart. Um, I was originally gonna do four hooks, but I managed to squeeze in an extra, so I had five hooks. On each little board, I was able to fit five, and so I did measure those to be about six inches apart and like two or three inches from the ends. I measured that out and I staggered them so that way they weren't like directly under each other. In the end, marking this actually kind of took more time and I didn't exactly stick to the markings that I made, but it just kind of gave me a guide to use while I was screwing the hooks on. Now here's where it gets difficult. The next step in this process is you're going to want to go ahead and use a power drill. And if you do not know how to use a power drill, I highly recommend that you take a lesson or have someone teach you because I did not, I thought that I did and I didn't and it was terrible. And so you're gonna wanna use a power drill to screw these little hooks on. When you're screwing these on, I used a coffee mug to kinda help me measure out the distance and everything and that's why I say that I did use the markings but I kind of went off of them a little bit because I did have a coffee cup on hand. That really helped me figure out where to place the hooks exactly. And so I highly recommend that you do that too. Just to kind of give you a better idea on where to place the hooks and how far apart they need to be and the drop length you're going to need for each mug. Um, this part is the most time consuming part out of the entire thing. I think it took me about an hour total to do this. The part of that was probably me throwing a hissy fit and being a drama queen and getting upset because I could not figure out how to get those screws to go in straight. They gave me such a hard time. I kept having to like take them out and redo them and I kept yelling and I was just so mad. And BJ really did try to help me by sitting on the couch and laughing at me. So that was a lot of help, so thanks. He helped cheer me on by telling me I could do it. But in the end, I will say that he did not end up helping me. He let me do it by myself, so thanks, babe. I asked for his help and he's like, no, you're doing a DIY video. You can't do a DIY video if you don't know how to do it yourself. So I'm like, fine, I'll just do it. And so I ended up doing it by myself, but he did talk me through it and how to use the drill and everything. So I really appreciate that, but he did come and help do like one hook for me. Um, but I really think that it's because he was mocking me on how hard it was. And it was, it was so hard. I could not get these screws to go in. So yeah, after you get those hooks in, all you have to do next is go over to your little area. We're gonna hang these up and screw it in. Like I said, we did screw these directly into the wall because this project is gonna hold a little bit of weight on it and I was afraid that it was going to fall. So I wanted to make sure that it was in the wall nice and sturdy, and it is. And yeah, um, so we screwed it into the wall and that was it. This is the final product. I am so happy with how it came out. I really, really love it. I cannot believe how good it looks. Like it ties in well with my coffee bar and I just love it. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I do collect cute coffee mugs. That's always been my thing. And so I wanted to have them displayed instead of just shoved in my cabinet. So that was one of the main reasons why I did this project. that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you find this project to be easy um, give this video a thumbs up because I did not I did not find this uh, project to be easy at all I was terrible at it and I was so mad and it took me a lot longer than it probably could have but that's mostly because I was busy being a drama queen on the kitchen floor but yeah 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and also make sure to click that bell button so you don't miss when I upload next. If you like this project and you decide to do it, let me know in the comments down below how it went for you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye!